In March 2020, my parents decided to pack up our English cottage they had been renovating for the last seven years and take their lives to a new country. And this is what they decided to buy. This gorgeous chateau has been empty for the last 20 years and it is just dying to be saved. There are some incredible outbuildings in this property and they all need a lot of work, but my parents are really good at DIY and they've been renovating houses basically all their life, so this is a challenge that they're definitely up to. And we cannot wait to share the journey with you. So welcome to Chateau de la Ferte. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you the transformation of my bedroom in the chateau. When my parents first told me that they were moving to France, I was really excited for them, but I didn't really think about what it meant for me. It meant that while I wasn't at uni, I didn't have a home in England, and my home was actually in France, which if you think about it, it's very daunting being in a new country, especially when you don't speak the language. So here is just a quick tour of what my bedroom looked like at the chateau when my parents first moved in. This was one of the first projects that my mum decided to do because she really wanted me to have a home from when I came home from university. But unfortunately, because of this, we didn't actually know we were going to be doing YouTube, so we don't have very many progress videos, but I'll show you what we have. Because moving to a new country is quite daunting, my mum really wanted me to feel at home here, so the way that she did this was she pretty much replicated my old bedroom from England into the chateau. So this is what my old bedroom looked like and you can see it's pretty much white and grey and that is the colour scheme that I like. It's quite a modern and a very minimalistic look which doesn't fit the chateau too well but I think my mum's done a really great job of it so let me show you. These videos aren't completely in order but it makes it easier for me to split things into bathroom and bedroom. So let me show you the bathroom first. And you can see this flooring actually covers most of the chateau and it is really nice flooring but it's nice to have some variation. So to fit my colour scheme my mum decided to do a whitewash over the wood. This took her quite some time to do, but she was really happy with the results and I think it also adds a really nice contrast to some of the rooms. She then added the varnish on top and this was a water-based poly, but you will know if you've seen our TikToks that this unfortunately didn't turn out too well. Annoyingly. The varnish has reacted with the white paint and turned it yellow, which means it'll all have to be sanded again. So she sanded it off and I actually really like the dusty white look, so that's how it stayed. So this area here actually used to be a walk-in wardrobe, but it works so perfectly for a shower. So we had a tiler come in and put some tiles up, unfortunately he is not quite finished yet. My dad did the plumbing and got everything hooked up and eventually I had a lovely shower. And you can see my mum is super, super happy with this shower. And to be completely honest, it does feel like a spa when you're in there. We then placed in a sink and a tap and finally a chandelier to complete it all off. And this is now my ensuite bathroom. You can see it's not completely finished, like we need to do the painting of the windows and also there are a couple of tiles that aren't quite in yet, but it's completely functional and it works perfectly. It's so pretty and it fits in with the style of the room so nicely and I'm very pleased with it. And now moving on to my bedroom. So as I said before, unfortunately I don't have too many progress videos to show you, but I can kind of give you some jump steps. So the first job was washing and painting the walls. You can see they're quite gross. Oh, it's so sparkly. Oh, incoming, nosy cow. 
So when it came to painting the walls, we have these lovely details above the alcove and also at the top of the window. So my mum really wanted to make these stand out as they're so pretty. They're very intricate, so it took quite some time, but it's definitely worth it as it really makes them stand out and shows off the original features of the chateau. We added in a carpet into the middle just to make it a little bit cosier as it is a bedroom. Now, unfortunately, that is all the progress I can show you, and here is the finished bedroom. It looks like there hasn't been that much work done purely because I haven't had the videos to show, but a hell of a lot of work went into this and so much time and effort that my mum spent making this room perfect for me. Now we understand that this won't be everyone's taste and not everyone will like this. However, it's my bedroom and I am so happy with it and I think my mum has done such a fantastic job. So I hope you like it. So coming into Bethany's room, I can't believe it took me three months to do this. Every job here at the chateau seems to take three times, four times longer as a normal house. But we got there eventually. The walls, they were black. And then first of all, I had to strip the wallpaper off. Um, then they had to be sanded. And because they're, ch they're lying walls, it all just flakes off. It's just a really dusty job. I look like a snow monster. Um, but eventually we got there. I just painted them white. We weren't intending to leave them in white, but other things to put priority. Um, we already had some wallpaper that she liked anyway, so we um, put that up. Her beds from home, the lamp, all the furniture that's in here we already had because we can't actually afford to buy new at the moment. Other things are taking priority like heating. Um, but it all came together quite well. That's a second chandelier, chandelier we bought. Um, the first one wasn't quite right when we saw that one. I'll turn it on for you. And we thought it looked quite spectacular in that. And then we turned this walk-in wardrobe into an ensuite for her. It's not quite finished because I ran out of paint and paint here in France is very expensive. So now I'll have to wait till we go back home to England. Um, put up another chandelier for her. Chose some modern tiles for her and once you're in the shower it's quite it's quite like being in the spa actually we're all using it now while she's not here but it's still not completely finished but we'll get there eventually and she has this gorgeous view of the coach house through her bathroom window And not only that, she has the best view from her bed. Where you can see straight down the park. So all in all, came to bed quite well. She's happy with it. It's her design, her colors. Um, and it all goes well. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and got a good insight into what it takes to transform a bedroom in our chateau. Now this is definitely one of the easiest bedrooms to transform as there's no mold, there's no dampness and the flooring in this room is pretty good compared to downstairs that you would have seen in the last video. So although this bedroom took three months, the other ones will definitely take a lot longer. The next room that my mum is working on is her and my dad's bedroom, so look forward to this in an upcoming video. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed our content and we will see you next week!